Good morning and welcome in. I am the Canadian trucker Rudy and I am here with Diego. I'm Trucker's Rudy's son. Well, thank you guys for joining my channel and stay tuned for the rest of my day. Hey guys, we are here in Calgary right now, <laughs> and I'm here with uh, JP, right? <laughs> JP, yeah. Yes, and he's asking what this thing underneath here is, and what it really is, it's a it's a wind uh, wind blocker, it, uh, or like a spoiler almost, like it uh, it uh, prevents the wind from uh, hitting the axles too much, and it's supposed to help you for fuel economy. That's what they claim. Wow. <laughs> okay, because I can't see, I can't see how it really works. Yeah. You know. Yeah. They... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got underneath there, and then it just basically, uh, you know. It's a deflector. Yeah, it's a deflector, so that's a wind. It's an inverted wing. Yeah. But you look at that, and you think, me, my, my, the problem I have with that, okay, uh -huh. is that. The truck at the front disturbs the air. Yeah. The wheels yeah. would disturb the air. And it gets the air, you get dirty hair. The air is very dirty. Dirty by me, it's not flu uh, smooth. And then this thing here, it's carrying extra weight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I would like to see it in the wind tunnel. Yeah, that would be that would be quite something to see, eh? Yeah, to understand the principle because it does make sense, and uh, yeah. you know you can't deny that. Yeah, but I know we have we have trailers with side curtains yeah. on them too. Yeah, yeah, and, and that makes person. more more sense. But yeah, and, and that, yeah, because that's but that deflects the wind a certain amount of wind to the back wheels. Yeah, exactly. You know, because the thing is, if you want to keep your brakes cool, you want air to flow. Yeah, and, and and I think sometimes they have a uh, little. Uh, uh, plastic piece in the back here too see see this one has got it too oh yeah yeah okay. i'll show you guys a little bit uh-huh and that's wow. supposedly is supposed to help something for yeah. well, uh for the, the wind you the, know and the other one in the states you see skirts yeah now that comes out on both sides yeah does it come out at the top too yeah I, i've seen some that uh, that come all the way like this and then one that comes from the top yeah. i've seen that a little bit and yeah that, and again so so that it stops the dirty hair from the vacuuming here yeah you know creating a vacuum here yeah and remember you, me and my uh i think i was telling you about the wd-40 oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> and you're right because yeah. this is cool yeah and it won't but it will work apparently on, on, on the lens on the lens with a with a bulb Oh, okay. Well, because it generates heat. Yeah, yeah. And if you look at WD-40, the other fallacy, fallacy about WD-40, that it was made of fish oil. It's not made of fish oil. Mm. Please remember that. <laughs> but I'll show you on my Jeep what I did with WD-40. Okay. I save over $1,200. Really? It will restore fiberglass. Oh, really? Yeah, I'll show you on my car. Mm, well, <laughs> that's interesting. Because I got one spot that for some reason it did not restore it. I may have missed it because huh. I was doing it in a rush. But uh, you use W, what you do is you take a um, terry cloth towel. Okay. okay like a, not a big piece, but a, a, a decent piece. And you soak it with WD-40. Okay. And you just wipe it on. Really? And then use a dry <laughs> terry cloth and wipe it off. Oh really? Because that smooths it up. Huh? Okay. I saw I saw on Facebook that you had a, a picture of, of a uh, yeah, WD-40 on there. That's right. I did. I did. See, I did. I did this thing here. Okay. I did, I did it all, all the way around. Like this. Yeah. Okay. Now here's where you see the big difference, right there. Yeah. You see, this has been done. I thought I did this, but I think I missed it. Oh, it must be. You know, because the other side. It's basically the same. What else? It's different material. Unless that's it, yeah. yeah. And this thing here. Yeah, you can see where you, where <laughs> but this, you rubbed no, it. Right? No, this thing here. No. My great daughter had a, somebody na nailed it. Oh. And this was pushed in. You see a lot of car with mm -hmm. that. You go to a body shop. Yeah. They can fix that for 25 bucks. Really? They heat it up and suck it out. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice. That's what it is. Really? It's just because it's fiberglass, right? Yeah. And you can bring it out. But huh. that Jeep is in beautiful shape. 
Well, it, it's, <laughs> it is, yeah. She, I actually kept it really nice. Oh, she, nice. You know, it's got what? I got it from her that had 149,000 clicks on it. Really? And it was nine years old. Oh, okay. No, no, sorry, eight years old because I got it last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now I got 153,000. Oh, wow. You know, and that thing goes like, uh, <laughs> I just love it. Yeah. I love yeah. my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> well, who wouldn't, right? Yeah, oh, uh, she yeah. treated her dad nicely. <laughs> <laughs> well, well the, the, the thing is, you know, it's a, it's a good little vehicle. It is, it's yeah. Cute, you know, yeah. it travels very well. Like I say, I went to Valley View there and back. Yeah. In 14 hours. Hey, a Peterbilt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is a Peterbilt. It's an older <laughs> one. But... Your, your... <laughs> I got them in. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, I got those ones in uh, in Winnipeg at the uh, at the G. What is it called again? I forget. Some people they have the kind of mud flaps, and it says I think G G something. I forget. There's two three letters on it. But when are you gonna put the train horn on there? Well, there's guys that are in Alberta. I they, know. And it's legal apparently. Really? Yeah. They buy it in the states. Mm -hmm. And they, and I like the sound of it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I know Jukebox said he really likes my horn and, and he's used it in one of his videos and he <laughs> says I think tomorrow is going to be one video where he uses my horn again. But. Oh yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to have to say hello to Larry. <laughs> I miss you, mister. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. We have to definitely say uh, say hi to Larry. That's there. right, and he needs to come up to Canada so we can go to Beef, beef Baron, that thing that we were at. Uh, not beef, sure. that beef well, baron. We will know here in a second. <laughs> <laughs> we will know in a second. Should be right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oops, there Upside we are. Down. The cattle baron. Cattle baron, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said he, uh, he wanted to try out my, my barbecue. He says uh, yeah. <laughs> the challenge that we have between me and Jerry, he, he wants it wants to make sure he knows which one is better oh hey that's uh <laughs> that's a must we're a, i think we're the kings of barbecuing <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah i just love barbecuing yeah, yeah i think it's the greatest thing in the world you know? oh it is you know? next to french fries <laughs> Well, you know what Barry said? No. He said he uh, he come up to Canada a long time ago, uh -huh. and he said he went up to a KFC along the 401, <laughs> right? and and then he said in, in the United States he can get mashed potatoes, but he can't get mashed potatoes at KFC. That's right. We don't <laughs> smash, smash potatoes. We don't go well. <laughs> and by the way, Larry, in Carberry, Manitoba, carnation plant. We used to they used to process potatoes, okay. And I used to work part time in the summer with the, the ranchers, yeah. and they had the best French fries going because we grew them potatoes. <laughs> and they were called Melba Jam. I remember. I told you, useless information. I got tons of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it certainly was nice meeting up with you over here. We had a nice. He's told me all kinds of stories about the military. It, it was a, it was a lot of fun. I listening to him about all the all the military stories and stuff. You know, a few of them. Yeah, a few, a few of them. Yeah. And by the way, I did serve with NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization in Europe, and I was associated. Uh, no, hang on, it's not the right words. We had a joint operating center: American, Canadian, British, German, Dutch. Belgiques. And the most fun I had, and I hope to God, somewhere along the line, Steve Wilkinson and Specialist 4 hears this. I need to get a hold of you. <laughs> I think I've talked about this young military soldier. He was a GI. Okay. And we served together in our trade, and I had the greatest time with him. And I always remember the turkey he bought me. <laughs> 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 because we did, we did not have a PX. Okay. And um, I, I gave them the money and everything, and he bought us a 25 pound turkey. What a bomb! <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. But the thing is, that's only one little story. You know, just, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, the, the fun we had, you know, the fun I had in the middle. I had a beautiful military career. I was in for 21 years. Nice. And I retired in 1982. That's I, when I was born. <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> you've been, now you've been collecting my pension, military pension since then. <laughs> uh, but no, I've had, I've had so much good times and uh, so many, I made so many good friends in the military. Yeah. And I must say, you know, like uh, uh, I'm living out west here and that's, I really enjoy it. And uh, my next career was at the hospital. Oh, okay. And I was there 29 years. Wow. You know, and I enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. Enjoyed it. It's just like you guys on the road, you know, like uh, me, truckers are the biggest tourists earning a living, seeing the country and have the, your thumb on the pulse of the economy. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and, yeah, we do. And then you see everything, you see it happen, you know. Amazing. Yeah, they, they say if if there wasn't truckers, there wouldn't be anything in the store, right? Well, true and not true. Yeah. Okay, I, I have to disagree with that to a certain extent. Yeah. The thing is, now what we have is those tin cans coming from the Far East mm. by train. Mm -hmm. And then they're moved around. Right? Mm -hmm. But then our truckers are doing the little piddly stuff. Because I hear all the guys, I follow many truckers, like I told you, right? Yeah. And you hear the complaints, you hear the, the the things that goes on and everything. And I think it's a disgrace how the trucking industry is treated. It is. Like, yeah. it, it is. You know, like, who's sitting there and loading? It takes you three hours. Uh -huh. Makes no sense to me. Yeah. You know, I could empty a soft drink truck in four hours. Mm. A delivery. Depending if I had big clients, mind you. But the thing is, the thing is, you know, when I dropped 300 cases on the truck and then it did 15 clients, you know, so it did, was one. But I hear a semi trailer, the guy pulls up to a place, eight hours later is still sitting there waiting to be unloaded. Yeah. That don't make sense. Yeah. That don't make sense. Yeah, and then we still have to follow the, the law, you know, yeah, we still have the law. That screw, screws your time. Yeah. Pardon my English, but that's the fact of life, right? Yeah. And I, I don't agree with that. Uh, there should be a stop clock. Yeah. But the thing is, is how many hours can you be awake in a day also? That's what we have to think. That's what the, the yeah. trucker has to think, right? Yeah. He's yeah. on health. Yeah. You know, it's not the, and the stress. Yeah. I can't see the stress. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is that's uh, that's landing on the old runway. Oh, it is. They eh? just built a new runway here, about a, a kilometer that way. Okay. Right? Which goes north south, and it's ten thousand feet long. Ten thousand feet long. Yeah. Oh man. So now they, well, I, it, it they claim it's the longest runway in Canada. Sorry, not true. The longest runway in Canada is in Churchill, Manitoba. Really? Yes, sir. Built by United States Air Force. Huh. To take in B-52 bombers. Uh, sorry, not the bombers, the refuelers. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very low, no middle fact, but that runway is still there and it's still in use. Wow. Right? How long is that? How long has it been there? No, no. How long is it? Like you said it's the ten longest. Ten ta over 10,000 feet. Over 10,000 feet. Yeah, it's longer than the one here. Huh. You know? Okay. But that's a, that's a fact of life. You can look it up, it's there. Hmm. You know, because United States Air Force, you used to be stationed up there. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> I remember in Winnipeg sending messages to the Yusafi, the poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> All the messages were so high priority. And they would phone him in. They would phone him from wherever the plane was coming from, tell him. And then we'd get the message and we would phone him back about a half hour later and tell him all the same information. <laughs> Yeah. Well, guys, we yeah. got lots of minutes on here already, so we we will uh, say goodbye to the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, camera. Yeah, all right. And Larry, stay safe, man. All right. Stay safe. Yeah. And Jerry. Jerry. Who else? There's Larry, Jerry, <laughs> and Josh. We'll throw in Josh in there yeah. too. Yeah. We like him. Yeah. <laughs> stay safe. <laughs> all right. Behind me, that day is gonna come